Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I do my Kim Boggs cosplay. First, I start by putting in a colored contact lens. It's not too different from my natural eye color, but it makes it slightly lighter and softer looking, and they also make my eyes look bigger. Then I lightly cover my face in foundation for a nice, even base. With a medium brown eyeshadow, I contour my nose to make it look more like Winona's. Her nose is a bit smaller and sharper than mine. Then I lightly dust blush on my cheeks while also trying to slim down the sides of my face. I fill in my eyebrows with a warm brown liner pencil. Then I soften them with a blonde colored eyeshadow. To give my eyes a bigger and pointier shape, I use a light brown eyeshadow and drag it under the lash line from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. Then to make the outer upper edge look more lifted, I put on some brown eyeshadow. Then I take some off-white highlighter and put it on the inner corners of my eye. For the eyeliner, I try to give my eyes a more cat-like look. I draw the line a little further past the inner corner of my eye and a little longer and more upward on the outer corner. Next, I use a brown eyeshadow and contour the sides of my face to slim it down. I also go over my nose a bit. Then blend it all with a puffy brush. Then I highlight my cheeks, nose, above my lips, then blend it all in. Winona has full pouty lips, but they aren't very wide. I first overdraw my upper lip with a pink liner pencil. Then I fill in my bottom lip as well, but I don't draw it as wide. Then I go over it with a rosy pink lipstick. When I'm done with the lips, I go back to the eyes and trace my lower lash line with a warm brown liner pencil. I also line my top one a bit. Then I curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. I also want to define my eyelids a bit more, so with a dark brown eyeshadow I fill in the crease of my eyelid. Then I braid my hair, and put on a wig cap, then I put on my wig.
It's been stored in a bag, so it needs some brushing and styling. As usual, I like to glue down the hair around my face with eyelash glue to make it look more natural. And that's pretty much it! I got this super cheap, heat-resistant yellow wig on eBay. It's obviously not the right color at all, but Kim's hair is an unnatural blonde color and I thought this would be a good base for it. I slightly watered down a warm brown acrylic craft paint and brushed it onto the hair and worked it into the hair with a comb. I really like using acrylic paint because it dulls the shine as well as makes the color look more natural and gives the hair different tones. You can really see the difference it's making in the color already. After I'm done coloring it, I used a curling iron on a low heat, wet the hair a bit, and gave it some pretty waves. Now for the dress. I start getting out the supplies I need to make the dress. I am using Simplicity Pattern S0311 as a base shape for the dress and altering it a bit. I am using version A as a base. I start following the pattern as it's meant to be, just a bit shorter. Then I pin and sew it together. After that, I put it on and fold down the top because Kim's dress shows her shoulders. And then I draw a line at the bottom with chalk so I know where to finish the end of the top half of her dress. I cut off the excess fabric. Then fold under the edge of the fabric and pin it in place. After I'm done pinning the edges, I run a stitch through them. Next, I use the same pattern but only cut out the skirt half. Then I pin the skirt to the top half of the dress. Again, once I'm done pinning it, I run it through my sewing machine. After I'm done sewing the dress all together, I hand stitch a bunch of pretty pearlescent buttons down the middle of the top half of the dress. I use the same pattern to make the sleeves. I just cut them to the right length and sew them to the ribbon around her shoulders. For the band around her shoulders, I just made a simple pattern myself and sewed it on. Then for the buckle, I cut some craft foam into the shape I wanted, then covered it in fabric with hot glue. And that's pretty much it. I really hope this tutorial can help you make your own Kim Boggs cosplay. It's a really simple and pretty costume to wear, and the perfect costume to have if you know someone cosplaying as Edward. Huge shout out to Purple Shawler for playing the beautiful music you heard in the video. Also, thank you to my friend Alan for recording the intro clips. You should definitely go check out their channels. I also have all the Edward Scissorhands cosplay tutorials posted on my channel. And some other makeup and cosplay tutorials as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!